A new pterosaur is coming, a mutant dinosaur is coming, and another big modding team with some big ambitions has planned out what they're going to be introducing to Path of Titan. Today, we're back again with all the mod news that you need to know about, everything that's pretty much developed over the last week. Without further ado, if you are new, feel free to subscribe, but other than that, let's just get right into it. Do you remember the awesome Acrocanthosaurus which was made by the Absentia team? Well, I am talking about that next, but currently we're actually talking about something else that has been made by the Absentia team, and this is a pterosaur. They recently revealed this as a new creature that they were showcasing that is coming to the game as a mod. With a freshly hot out of the oven model, introducing another large pterosaur to the game via mods, this is Geosternbergia. Now if that rings a bell, I do believe that Beast of Bermuda recently changed their Pteranodon model to kind of be like a Geosternbergia in terms of its looks. But this is now coming to Path of Titans via the modding area, so let's discuss and showcase it. Oh by the way, there is currently a skin contest for this mod in development that ends on May 5th, so if you want to join their Discord server and do a skin for this skin context, feel free to do that. It ends May 5th and you could have a chance to have your skin on the mod. But as for the model itself, here it is. It looks absolutely beautiful. Like the Acrocanthosaurus model in terms of the fact that it is highly detailed and has some beautiful coloration on it. This is one thing that this mod does extremely well and that's the colors on the skins. But this mod and this model looks absolutely fantastic. But we need to talk about the Absentia Acrocanthosaurus as well because that's actually had quite a bit of nice progress on it too. So let's just go ahead and talk about that one as well. More stuff for the Absentia Acrocanthosaurus and you know what's funny, this won't be the first Acrocanthosaurus I talk about in this video. We actually have more to showcase which are coming down the line. But of course, this one we get to see skins and animations for the dinosaur as well. The first one is an animation for its eating animation. It looks really good. I really like it. Very fluid animation. But overall, what do you guys think? It's on the screen now. It's probably been on the screen while I was talking about it because, you know, I'm really bad at predicting how I'm going to edit my own videos for some reason. But yeah, what do you guys think about this one? I think it looks really nice. I'd love to know what you think. We also have the sitting to sleeping animation as well, which features a yawn too. It's adorable, especially for a dinosaur that big. Moving on, we get to see some of the skins as well because a lot of skins were showcased by the dinosaur or for the dinosaur. Now I'm going to mention who conceptualized the skin and who put the skin on the dinosaur. So firstly we have the Urutu skin which was conceptualized by a user called Game Videos for Life and was brought to life by a user called I am inside your home. Next up we have the Everglade skin which was created by Raiden but conceptualized by Ellie and this is a really nice skin as well, it has some variations to it and yeah it's a great skin overall. But we have the beautiful and this is my favourite one, this is the plain skin which once again has a huge amount of variation to it. You can see the different like variations that people have made for this, it's really cool. This was conceptualized by MB05 and brought to life by I am inside your home. Once again, why are you inside my home? But yes, this is a great skin. Very talented people working on this mod. And yeah, it's great work overall. But now let's move into the next creature. A mutant dinosaur alien OC looking thing. Let's talk about that. This is the Arfoxes, a massive mutant Tyrannosaurus looking beast. It's actually not a mutant Tyrannosaurus, it's actually an OC created by Kingsun, the author of this modded behemoth. This thing will tower above Rex itself, looking at least double the size. It's huge, it's absolutely massive, and it looks like something that comes from hell and will probably be fit in the game of Doom for some reason. This new mod is actually in testing right now, so we could actually see this behemoth of a modded creature coming soon. So let's showcase a little bit about it. Firstly, we are going to introduce the baby model of the dinosaur because it looks absolutely adorable and it doesn't look like how it looks like it will be as an adult because as an adult, it looks like a mean, lean, killing machine. Whereas a baby, I just want to give it a hug. 
This also has a plethora of skins. I believe five skins were shown off by the creator of the mod. Two of them red, two of them more beige yellow, and one of them is black with some streaks of yellow and green. We also get a couple recent clips of the calls for this creature with the broadcast animation and what I assume is also the broadcast animation as well, followed by another clip which could well and truly be the same one as well. I mean, I think they could both be the broadcast animations. Either or, I'm going to play them now for you. But what do you think about the R Foxy's mod? Let me know in the comments. And now let's just showcase those calls. Let's get it. A lot of people think the mystery dinosaur could be a gigantoraptor or an oviraptorid of some sort. Well, now your answers or your prayers have kind of been answered with a oviraptorid coming to the game via the modding team. This is made by the same people who made the Ampelosaurus mod, which I believe made its way onto the Path of Times official channel which was really cool to see. It's nice to see that mods are getting the love. Anyway, so this is City Patty, and this, I definitely have pronounced it wrong, so do let me know if I have. We only have three pictures of this mod. Firstly, we have an image of the head sculpt of this mod, which so far is looking really good. Of course, this was a work in progress tease. It's quite obvious, but it's on the right tracks. Next, we have a screenshot of the feathers on the arms, and it looks really great. The detailing on them is very nice, and it just fits very well. It's very nicely put together. Also, finally, there's a crest concept for it which is like the movement of the feathers maybe it could be to do with like they flare up for an ability or maybe it's flaring up during a moat or they move like feathers would in the wind and stuff like that maybe they have their own ragdoll what do you guys think that is city patty and it's coming to the game uh, by the same people who made the ampelosaurus mod titanus constructus and yeah it's awesome to see I can't wait for this one. I love Overaptorids. There's something about them. They're just really nice. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. But now we're going to Trello to have a look at this big, new, ambitious modding team. CRL Studios. So let's talk about that, shall we? So this is the Trello board for CRL Studios, which is an upcoming modding group, which is made by Claymore, um, Rexy, and Leumus, and I definitely said that one very wrong, so he's probably laughing at me right now. But we have a list of the potential creatures that are coming to the mod, some concept arts, and then the creatures that are so far in development. The first one that is upcoming in terms of potential list is Carbon Emmys, probably a playable big turtle. Looks really cool. Uh, this is obviously just some discussion stuff here. Um, at the moment, it's just the general proportions of it and all that. And then we have Atlasaurus, which is kind of like a big sauropod dinosaur, similar to that of Brachiosaurus. It is in the Brachiosauridae family, so of course it's quite similar to that and should be similar to that in its size and stature. Then we have Fapungaka, which is a pterosaur that I don't know where it's from. I'm going to assume it's from somewhere that I, I, I don't, you know, I'm not even going to know. But this is something that is uh, kind of similar to Tropiognathus, which is a, dino, a, a pterosaur that we all know and love from like Bisa Bermuda and stuff like that because it's been in that game. This will probably be a little bit smaller, probably won't be as big, but it's another playable pterosaur. The next thing is Hang Hen Long, which is a hadrosaur. I'm not a fan of these kind of hadrosaurs. I'm not a really big fan of their proportions. I think they're very weird looking, but it, it'll be interesting to have one of these in the game anyways, because uh, with all the hadrosaurs we have, they're not really that crazy in their dimensions, especially around the uh, head and neck and the back of the back. Then we have Norzutoceratops as well, which will be the final potential creature coming to this mod. Now we move to the concept art. The first one is titled Stupid Effing Turtle, which is also attached as Arch PNG, which could indicate Archelon is also coming to the mod as well. Regardless, this is some really good concept art for this little creature. 
Uh, I really like Kalon. I think another playable turtle alongside Carbon Emmys could be pretty cool. Or it could be Carbon Emmys itself. Then we have the Cryolophosaurus concept art. This, I believe, is made by Leumus. But this looks absolutely beautiful. It does indicate that this is one of the creatures that is obviously in development for the mod. I mean, it does pretty much get solidified when we have a look at the actual creatures themselves. But I really love this. I love the detail here on the neck as well. The kind of wrinkles and everything. I love how it isn't shrink wrapped. And it's overall some really good concept art. This kind of carries on forward when you see the model of the dinosaur. The same neck stuff there kind of stay. The wrinkles and everything. The detail on, on this model is really nice. Um, and of course you get the head as well. A really nice model. Cryolophosaurus is one of those dinosaurs that I know a lot of people will like. It's a dinosaur that I really like because I think it's very unique uh, with that head crest. This is another sculpt of the head, another close up sculpt of the head. Looks very nice. I love the detail on it. They've done a fantastic job there and here is the work in progress version of it as well without all the textures and detailing on it. We kind of get to see what is coming to the game with this one in particular um, and what's being worked on here. So the models so far, you'll have a juvenile, you have C. Elioetti, which is balanced, C. Hanson Ensis, which is plus attack, minus 5% speed, so plus 5% attack, minus 5% speed, and this is a fictional subspecies. Then we have C. Antarcticus, which is fictional once again, plus 5% speed, minus 5% defense, then we have Claymore, which is a balanced variant. And then there'll be feathered variants as well, which will be quite interesting. I really want to see what the fuzzy versions of these guys will look like. Are we getting free skins? Default, Albino, and Melanistic so far. And then these will be all the animations that it'll be getting pretty much similar to all the game animations as well. You got the implementation of such with the animations and then engine import, first playtest ability, second playtest stats, release of mod, and further updates. Now, the next dinosaur that is coming and the one that's currently got the most progress is Acrocanthosaurus. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of Acrocanthosaurus come to Path of Titans. This will be the third one so far, probably the fourth one, uh, because we've got the Absentia one. There's also this one, and I believe Primordial Tyrants are working on one as well. But yeah, a beautiful model. I really love the look of this one. It looks like a big dinosaur. It's not kind of fictionalized. It just looks nice and big. However, the issue here is, it, the downside is, that it looks like it's probably only getting one subspecies and one skin. You've got Atokinensis, and you've got the Juvenile, and then you've got the default skin. Uh, some more looks of the dinosaur's face right there. It looks very, very nice. This is obviously from a work in progress shot, uh, because, you, you know, there's no deep textures on the arm and the rest of the body. So far, the animations that are completed are walking, idling, and render pose. Uh, these old are the other ones left to go. They've also imported it into the engine, which could indicate that this modding team has access to the dev kit for the game, uh, which is going to be pretty nice as well. But yeah, that is CRL Studios' modding department there. Their potential creatures, the concepts of upcoming creatures, and the two creatures that they're currently working on. Now, this is a mod team that may take a while to actually get the mod into fruition. It's been made by three people. And yeah, it's likely this one will take a while considering these mods are only very, you know, low in their progress. And I only found out about this one last week. So let me know your thoughts about this one in the comments down below. What do you think about CRL Studios' uh, modding page and uh, their upcoming mods? I'm very excited for that Acrocanthosaurus and the Cryolophosaurus. But also playing as turtles will be pretty interesting. Let me know your thoughts anyways. Of course, there we have it, everybody. Let me know your thoughts about all of this stuff in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you think. I do love to see upcoming mods. I love talking about them. Because at the moment, the game is a little bit quiet. We all know that. And so, yeah, this is probably the most consistent thing that I have going at the moment. But be sure to be subscribed because I have a gameplay video in the works that I cannot wait release for you guys anyways guys i hope you enjoyed if you want to be kept in the loop for everything path of times news related also feel free to subscribe but yeah that's that and i'll see you in the next one have a great day peace <laughs>